Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sushant Chess Files. Today we are going to look at the next topic that is the discovered check. So we have discussed the topic of discovered check in our earlier lessons also. Now we are going to do the same positions at the intermediate level. So let's get started with the first position. As we already know, discovered check is a situation where a piece moves from middle and it allows the piece which is behind to give check. <coughs> so let's get started with the first position here. It is white to play and win. So as usual, we will try to see attacks and supports and see the active pieces. So what we note immediately that the white queen is bit in the corner of the board and it's not very much ahead. But the queen along with the bishop both are attacking the g7 square which is very close to the black king. Secondly, we see that the rook is very active, it's attacking the d6 bishop right now. And the bishop on b3 which seems to do nothing much can attack along the diagonal if the pawn moves away. So that gives enough idea for the tactical possibilities. Secondly, what we know, this queen on c7 is overloaded. It is supporting the d6 bishop and it is protecting the g7 pawn. So white starts with the most obvious move, rook into d6, deflecting the queen away. Queen takes d6. So well, it looks like white has sacrificed an exchange. Okay. So now what will happen? Bishop takes the pawn, check, forcing the king to go to g8 and now c5 check. So that is the main point of getting the queen to d6. The queen was deflected. Basically it came to a specific square. So what we call it? It is a decoy. And we use the discovered check here. So the bishop is giving check. Pawn has moved from middle. So now the only way not to lose the queen for free is the move qd5. So after qd5, we can just take bd5, bd5 and white's position is easily winning. He has got queen for rook plus he has this c pawn which can become a passed pawn. He can play the moves like bishop h6 or bishop h8 threatening qg7 and white is winning. Let's look at the next position here. We already see that white is very much active and he is doing somewhat better than black here. So the queen, knight, the other knight and the bishop, they are already developed. The pawn on d5 is bit advanced, it's already on the fifth rank. Queen and bishop both are in the f7 square. At first it looks like the white queen is attacked, so nothing much can happen because the queen will have to move after the queen moves to e3. Okay, or even f6, queen of 6 allows knight d7. So it looks like black is able to catch up on the development and the g4 bishop is attacking on the diagonal also. But now what happens here is, white starts with some series of forced moves and exploits the fact that black pieces are all stuck, many are stuck on the last rank. So white starts here with a decisive combination. White to play and win, so comes Queen f7 check, forcing the king to take the queen. If king comes to d8, then white can just take queen into g8. So king f7, and now comes dc check. So at first it looks like white had sacrificed the queen for just a pawn, and maybe he can get bg8. But of course, he is not interested in bg8, he is sacrificing the queen. Now soon, after the move bishop e6 blocking the check, white plays cb7 and soon black realizes that it was not just the sacrifice of queen, black has already lost 3 pawns and is about to lose the rook and not only that the pawn will pin over there. So now if black tries the move bd5 controlling the pinning of the pawn then screen because the bishop you can see is pinned by the b3 bishop. Okay. So in the game, black tried the move queen d5. Queen is trying to control a8, but after qd5, just bishop takes d5, still keeping the bishop pinned. Knight bishop again takes d5, this time controlling the 8 square, and now comes knight d5. Okay. So after knight d5, we see that the position is totally pinning. At the most what black can do is play bb4 check but he will be many pieces down bb4, nb4, 
in D7, then B8, Rook8. But what black will be left with is just the Rook over there and the Knight. And white will have Knight, Knight, Rook and Rook. So Rook and a piece extra. That would be winning for white. White could have also played the move Knight D5 over here. Okay, but then same thing. Still there is B B4 check. So that's why Bishop D5 was a better option. So let's look at the next position here. We see that again, lot of uh, most of the white pieces are attacking near the black king. So there is the rook, knight, and queen, which are very close. They are immediately in connection to the H5 square. And we see that the bishop on C2 is also lying near G6 and H7 squares. So without wasting much time, we can come to know that white's position is winning. It's white to play and win. And white found a very simple solution. Hmm? So white went with the move to H5 check. So this move came as a shock to black. He wasn't expecting this because after king in to H5, what white had noted here that the knight goes to F7, creating a very dangerous discovered check. The knight snatches away the H6 square. And king has the only one place to move on g4. So if bishop comes to g5, then rook g5 mates. And after the move to g4, now the rook is supported by the bishop. So the winning move happens to be f3 check. And the pawn is used. Do note that knight f6 was not possible because of bf6. Even though still we had the move f3. And now after f3 we see Nicely the white pieces are protecting each other. The pawn is protected by the rook. The rook is protected by the pawn. And the g3 and h4 pawns are protected. g3 is protected by king and h4 is guarded by the g3 pawn. So he has to go back to h5 and now rook g5 becomes checkmate. So we saw that the position we can winning for white. Let's look at the other line. So here after the move to h5 check we may well say that it's not forced to take the queen but after the only other move king g7 queen goes to h7 with a check and here after king f8 many people want to take queen into a7 which is actually very strong because it threatens two things. It threatens one queen f7 mate. Note that the bishop is pinned so we cannot take the knight. And it also threatens knight e6 check. So that position we can say after queen a7, of course white is winning. You look at this position. It's very difficult to stop the mating threat on the f7 square. <coughs> and the other option, queen g6 should also win the game since after qc2 we have got rook f6 check and soon mating king e7, then rook f queen f7 checkmates. Okay, so white had both ways of winning over here. So let's go to the next position quickly here. Again we see white is very active. Black king has no place to move. White to play and win of course. And we see several things here. Active rook, active bishop and the active queen. But it would be hard to believe if I say that white won the game because of the rook on h1. So white starts with a series of force moves. Let's see. He wants to use the idea of getting the king to h7 after bh7, kh7 and use the rook on h1. But first he starts with the move rook g3 check which forces black to take fg3 because the king has no place. So bg4 allows rook g4 checkmate. So fg3 forced and now white is able to open the rook spine by the move fg but he doesn't want to give black any time. So first Bishop h7 check, king takes h7, h into g3 check and now black has only two options. Either the bishop comes to h3 or the king directly goes to g8. So bh3, rook h3, kg8 forced and now there are three ways to wait here. One rook h8 checkmates, okay, two, two g5 checkmates because the both files are blocked and 3 QHH checkmates and white won the game. Let's have a look at the last position here. Of course, it's white to play and win again. We are seeing again and again that most positions are white to play. That is just because the positions have taken up like that. It's not necessary that white wins all the time. 
Okay, we are going to look at many black to play positions also in future. So let's see the position here. White as I am telling you constantly, I try to show the activity of the pieces. Why the activity matters, we come to know. And we see that the black king placing. If we compare white side black king placing, we see that just two attackers are there. That two they are far away from the white king. And for white, if we see the bishop, queen, and the knight, they are very close to the king. Knight is not close, but immediately it is able to join the attack. White starts the combination with a very obvious idea. He wants to use knight h5. So this is one of the mating patterns, especially when there is no defense on f7. Here the queen defends f7. But if the queen is not there, then the bishop and queen are able to create a mating pattern. We'll be discussing about that in future. Okay, now see after the move nh5, very strong move. First it threatens might on g7. So if black tries bf8, trying to attack the queen and stop the knight on g7, then knight was also attacking f6. So knight f6 check, king has to go to h8 and we see that qh7 is just a checkmate. We note that it is forced to take the knight. So g takes h5, forced and normally what happens if f7 is not protected, we do bishop h7 check, king h8, bishop g6 check, kg8 and queen h7 check, king f8 and queen into f7 checkmates. But in this position what we see, we are not able to use that idea. But nevertheless, white goes for bishop h7 and g 6 till here he uses the same tactic because attacking the f7 square is anyway important. So after q8 7 check, king f8, white uses all his pieces in the attack. So we want to take f7. But right now queen is the defender, white has seen before only that he has one more check. That is the bishop check on h6, queen h8 check would have allowed the king to e7 and after r1 bishop was coming to e6. But now what will happen? The queen keeps the attack on f7 square. So after k e7 forced, queen takes f7 check. That was the point of keeping the queen on h7. So now only move kd8 and Queen takes the rook and it's a checkmate. See how beautifully the white pieces launched themselves near the black king and black was unable to do much about it. Okay, so this is all about the discovered check concept. We'll be doing all these things at much higher level in future. I hope you are enjoying these lessons. Do like, share, and subscribe the channel. Thanks for your time.